What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are rolling with AMD stock technical analysis. So let's take a look at the important key levels, the price section and I'll do a touch on the play that we were in. Well, we were in a couple of plays on AMD. Some of them we already closed out in profits. That's why you don't see here on my chart. So check those videos out on my channel guys if you are interested to know more about what type of plays we took on AMD. The current play that we technically are still in that play, I'll give a bit of recap on that. And also I'll be telling you what I'm looking moving forward into this next week, especially how AMD would react to Nvidia's earning on Wednesday. Guys, that's a big, big event on Nvidia, all four semiconductors, guys. That's gonna completely change the ground for all the semiconductors. Well. And also guys, please note, anything that I'm covering in this video, none of this is any financial advice and is only for education purposes. I'm only providing my opinion and my read on the market on how I trade it. Now, with that, let's jump right into it. So guys, where I wanna start off with is talk about our play that I would say we are still in but this was more from this time when um, I was talking about that if we get above 20 days moving average this is your potentially a long play we also had a short play down here um, and let me actually just real quickly show you here this was our uh, short play as well that uh, we booked the profit to the 66 percent or 75 percent of our position and because we always take profits and the partial profit taking targets right now on the hourly interval the next play that we were in on amd guys was um, this one breakout above the level of 174 and this is was from here that we were identifying this play we got the 50 percent area of our position on that play i was targeting all-time highs but we didn't go quite up there so we went 50 percent of our position so 50 percent was in profit and remaining is in the stop loss zone right now it's up to you if you want to size in size out um i would usually look for the break of well double test and the break is what tells me that in the price section that it's time to close out so yeah, so technically guys, you have to take it as, as if it breaks, closes below 173, it's a final uh, call on it that the long play is fully over. But so this play worked out 50% of our position, okay? Now I'm gonna get rid of this play because for me, I checked my broker, my positions are fully closed. And so I was able, because I already set my partial take profit targets, 50% was hit and then remaining was closed when we broke below the half of it. So I have different strategies that I take based off of how I'm sharing, how I'm sizing in and out my position as well if it's not going completely that full target, right? So um, yeah, so just so you know, we have completed this play. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Now, let's talk about what in the price section we are reading and then what type of plays we can be making out of amd at this point guys so what i want to do first is back on the daily interval i want to show you some short volume data and then things will start getting clear to you really soon now on amd so guys this thing can't go unnoticed with what the short volume percent we got in the last two days especially the day prior two days so the for the two days the day prior we got 36 and 38 short volume percent, which is which can't be ignored. The, and when you see 38 volume percent, you know it's a leading indicator that the next day potentially we'll see a red day. We got that. And though we have a 33 percent, if it would have been very high, I would have been very sure. Well, my surety gets on to the scale of probability, right? What is the probability? 70 percent or 80 percent? that scale what I'm talking about if it would have been higher short volume interest more again um, then I would be more looking like hey it's really gonna break the level but let's let's build the confluence because what I want you to understand is I'm taking you on a journey on how to put these data together in your confluence so that you can use my tools and indicators and build your whole thesis together with any given instrument and in stock my intention is to teach you how to read the price action okay um now 
Guys, so this is what the short volume is. Definitely uh, 38 can't be ignored. 38 over here as well can't be ignored. We don't see that sh high short volume on AMD. So yes, short sellers are trying to come in, uh, in high quantities. So this would is very likely forming a little bit of a top on AMD, but let's let's not fix our mind over there right now. We the, the best thing you can do for yourself in the stock market is never get fixated on just one thing without going through all other elements in the confluence of the price action reading okay so we have to keep our mind flexible until we put all the data together now we have what else here on the price action let's go to the weekly interval and this will let me now draw a couple of boxes for you before i talk a couple of other things with you now we so you you can understand right guys this wick at the top forming is what we see that the sellers are coming so right over here and then okay let's start here so we have this wick forming up on the top right which means all these are sellers beyond and above this line then we have a red body here close which means also the sellers present and above this area then we have a full red body which means sellers have pushed it lower and then we have a sell off here as well so which means you can draw a graph like this right this is where the sellers are let me actually now make a box for you so that you can understand it really well so this is your first sell zone where the sellers are present and sellers have confirmed that they want to keep pushing down the price so what they did is next day they pushed it much lower so you get my point right now you can see if you put the these boxes in your understanding this is this is how i want you to understand that you are seeing that sellers took over much more territory over here right which means sellers are getting in control this is weekly interval now again you can't just take one data now where are the buyers okay this is what is very important buyers are trying to so you can see these wicks forming at the bottom right the wick formed right up here at the top and uh, went a little bit higher right which means buyers are present so this and this is a green body so which means we have this whole zone so far is taken up by the I, i'm trying yeah it's getting overlapped but that's fine guys um, this whole area is taken up by the buyers it's not really likely though that range but yeah let me okay let's let's do this guys this is whole taken by the buyers and what are you seeing the next place where are the buyers where are the wicks wicks are over here right so this zone you can say is also taken by the buyers here right so that's the buyers territory right now that's the sellers territory right now now what are you seeing from left to right as the time is going on you are seeing that sellers are pushing the buyers down okay now this under my intention in this video is to also teach you how you have to understand the price action so you're getting the point right buyers from here onwards let me actually delete some of that now buyers here were pushing the price up right so buyers pushed up and they were pushing sellers to the upside so buyers were in control now what started to happen is sellers have started to take much more territory as the time is going on from left to right and sellers oh sorry and buyers are going down right so this is a change already you are seeing in the price session on the weekly interval okay so that's what i wanted to show you that sellers are taking over control now what confluences we have short volume percent is increasing that i showed you on the daily interval and sellers are pressing down the price also volume is decreasing from last two weeks when we were going up what was happening volume was increasing right you can see big green candles coming and as the sellers are pushing down volume is decreasing as well so there's a lot of confluence building to the downside now things are getting clear right all right guys so what i'm gonna do get rid of these boxes now and 
oops here we go and guys as I'm covering this video there are a lot of tools that I use in my videos um, one of them is you know I have day trading bot as well automatic levels day trading levels plus intraday trading this dashboard that tells you the trend and all of that customized you can do the settings as well I also have Wall Street alerts links are in the description below if you're interested to have access to my tools and also my discord link is in the description below all right now so let's so we are getting to the point that sellers are taking control right let's go to the daily interval now and so guys so the the thing is that as we are getting more and more sell off you can be looking at the downside place now what are those downside place break below 173 and 29 cents is a game to the downside okay and there was also this bull flag sort of building trying to build but seems like we might have a failure for that now is this is this wasn't really yeah this is this was a sort of bull flag now is is this a failed bull flag already you ask junior trader well the answer to that is no and that's why we want to have our stop losses regardless if you take long position or short position okay because things may turn around on a dime let's say nvidia comes out with a great earnings or something that in relation affects amd in their guidance call in, in nvidia guys those things you can't prepare for earnings when they happen on any of the industrial related stock and if and like nvidia will definitely affect amd guys you, you there's technicals don't work during that earnings period and earnings calls period the chart is completely different before earnings and completely different after earnings. You have to treat it that way. So I, that's why I don't like to hold my positions through the earnings period, like that particular few couple of hours, right? Now, we have to like, sure, break below 173 and 17 cents can give a short play and that short play could be first level you're watching is 165 and 53 cents and below that is 162 however now however as if we continue to stay above 173 and 32 cents guys we are still above 20 days moving average okay technically this bull flag is not dead because we haven't broke oh sorry guys yeah let me just do it properly because we haven't broken below it we are just testing the surface of that almost right so will we keep testing surface here or are we gonna break below? So we are right at the critical juncture, guys. So you're watching $173.32 very closely for any play, and I'm gonna mark it here as well for you guys this line. Below this break is a short play. If it holds support, it may be a long play, but my confidence is not there on the long play on AMD because I showed you the short volume data coming in, and I was, I'm also showing you that sellers on weekly interval, I showed you they're pressing buyers down right so this may be a shift that is happening now on the hourly interval your confirmation zone for the short play guys and i'm going to give you long play as well don't worry because if if the, yeah because things can turn around if they want to right so your short play confirmation guys you can take that 173 and 22 cents together with the break of 200 hours moving average and this trend line to the downside right break below all of it is a short place on amd and what are the long plays you ask junior traders? So I'm going to mark first of all, guys, I'm going to give it some area here so you can again target the downside and have a stop loss, guys, in this area, 175 and above. You can give it some more little bit of. So when I say stop loss area, this means you have to be careful here. Things may turn around. You may size in, size out, maybe build something, your position or more if your confirmation is coming. So this is the this is a zone where you are like, OK, I want to size and size out or build my position okay that's why i like doing shares because it's just easier to manage your position that way now what is the long play on junior oh, not on junior trader sorry the long play on amd you ask junior trader <laughs> guys even though the likelihood of that is not that much in my opinion but things may turn around if it gets above at this point the level of 20 and 50 hours moving average both first at this point and then above 177 again i'm i'm just not confident on that guys in my opinion i would wait if price goes to 177 and it rejects 
could be a game to the downside again but i i just feel like this is the area you have to watch for short for much more surety because otherwise 20 can give it a bounce guys this is the play actually at least at least for tuesday that i would talk about i would say anytime if it gets above 177 you know on a good strength and volume which is unlikely it's a long play but i'm not gonna mark it there because i'm not confident on that but it may happen just saying but i feel like 70 percent there's a play on amd that could be taken to the downside only if these levels break 173 and 21 cents at least um you know why not let me just mark the long play as well why not right i'll just mark it here um again i'm not confident on this guys but again since there is not much overlap i can still put it on the chart in case you just never know right so but right now price session is just way far behind from that away from that to the downside and the way things are looking like i'm more looking to the downside guys but have a stop loss regardless nothing is guarantee i take guarantee of nothing just so you know okay i take guarantee of nothing i'm only providing my read on the market and as an educational advice you are solely responsible for your own financial decisions and your own financial outcomes okay we are all grown up so yeah and you, you, yeah you have to take your own responsibilities for anything that you do um now that's that guys on amd and that's pretty much what i want to cover in this video with you all hope you found it helpful and valuable if you did please hit the like and subscribe i'll see you in my next videos guys take care bye